Good morning. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to draw an equilateral triangle without the use of uh, a compass or really, we wouldn't really need a ruler. We would only really need a straight line creator, which I will use the ruler for, but the ruler with the marks on it isn't really necessary. We can construct it with just a straight edge and a compass. Um, so I know that the way I have the camera set up here, this looks a little not equilateral, but I promise you from my point of view, this final product here is an equilateral triangle. Um, so try not to be fooled by the orientation of the camera I have set up here. Um, so what you're going to do is first draw any line. I would recommend not a huge line uh, because it's going to be the same length for all of your sides here. So hopefully that one is not too big that I just drew. Then you're going to take your compass uh, and make it the exact same size as the line you just drew. So I call this copying. So I'm gonna copy this length with the compass. So that looks like it's about right. Remember a uh, equilateral triangle, all three sides are the same length. So we're gonna recreate a triangle using this as the base. So I'm going to take that, I'm creating a radius of that same exact size, right? That's important because we're gonna have an equilateral triangle, all the sides are the same length and you're just gonna draw a circle section. Uh, that should be enough because I'm going to draw another circle section that intersects that and makes the equilateral triangle. Um, but if it's not enough, you can always do it again. So if I just take this, make it the exact same size, and then draw that again, it will show up um, one more time. So no worries if you don't get it the first time, you can always do it again. I'm gonna take my compass and switch so that now I'm over here. Um, if you messed up your length on your compass, that's fine. Just recreate it, right? I can, oh, oh no, it's gone. I can recreate it so that it's the exact same length as that side length and just copy it again. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing, center at the other side length and I'm going to draw uh, a circle section and that is where I want to be. So really, now that you know that you just need to hit this intersection point, you can really start your circle section all the way up here. All I need is this intersection point because that's where I'm gonna draw my two lines, right? Because every point on this circle is the same length as this. And every point on this circle is the exact same length as that same line. So when we connect them, they're all gonna be different equal radius, radii, um, but they're all equal. So it's, it will make the equilateral triangle. So go ahead and finish by connecting your intersection points to your line segment lengths or endpoints. And I have what appears to be an equilateral triangle. Now that you've drawn it, you can uh, take out your comp your protractor. And double check that these are all 60 degree angles. And what do you know? 60 degrees. Uh, maybe not perfect. Close enough, 60 degrees. And then this one I'm guessing will be 59 or so since my other ones were a little bit longer. Yeah, 59. Uh, so just to finish up here, we're struggling with labeling these angle measures. So just go ahead and if you wanna label them with the truth, I love the truth, um, but you could just draw a little 60 degrees here, little 60 degrees here and a 60 degrees here. Just remember that our angle measures should be labeled inside of our shapes. Um, some of us are labeling angle measures out here or down here. Um, angle measures should always be labeled right next to the angle that they are. So this is a 60 degree angle. I've labeled it 60 degrees, labeled 60 degrees, labeled. Good luck today and thanks for watching.